Hey everyone, welcome Praveen. He was the winner of Smart India Hackathon 2024 and currently he is Senior Analyst at Deloitte. So today he is here to guide you regarding the complete journey of SIH, how to make the presentation, how to encounter any error if you find on the spot in the grand finale or anything and how to re respond to the queries of the judges and how to form a team for any hackathon. So all these queries will be resolved in this video. So watch the video till the end. And Praveen, let's start this video with your introduction. So here, everyone, I am Praveen Rajnale. I have, I have the, I am the Smart India Hackathon winner of 2024 Software Edition under Problem Statement 1652, uh, which was organized by Ministry of Defense. And uh, I am currently working at Deloitte as a senior analyst. In this video, I'll be, you know, uh, quickly spanning you through how to develop the problem statement. Uh, the solution for the problem statement PPT or how to form a team for SIH. Okay, Praveen. So first of all, congratulations for your win and starting the video with the basic doubt, how to form a team in Smart India Hackathon, like not only for the Smart India Hackathon, for main normal hackathons also. Generally, people do is keep and they form the team and then at the end they don't project and the team dissolves and the hackathon is waste. So what can be the tips from your side to form a team to like specifically be into the hackathon, make the good project and finally win it? Okay, so first of all, our SIH guideline is that every team should have one girl. So at least find a girl from your department or some other department. Secondly, if we look at SIH's website, ko se padenge, to they encourage that you make an inter-department team. You can take a college, but you can take another department. Ka bhi ek a dusra banda aap lo. And uh, thirdly, I would suggest that you take another inter-department. You can take another EXTC ka le lo, ya phir, you know, other departments also you have in your college. Third, you can you know, have your juniors in your team, which we also had two juniors. One was a girl and one was in third year only. So both uh, of them had different capabilities with them. And whenever you're uh, forming a team, you first of all check, is your wife matching with them? Because you have to spend 36 hours with the person whom you are going. So have a great match with them. Secondly, find people having you know different skill sets. So problem statement might have a uh, front end. So uh, think for a guy who is ex having some expertise around front end, someone having backend expertise. If your problem statement uh, falls around AIML, so have one or two guys working on AIML currently. So you can, you know, onboard those members also. Uh, have a member who is very strict with, you know, uh, deploying the solution and uh, constantly nagging around how to complete it. So yeah, this these tips would, you know, help you to form a team. Okay, so next moving to the idea of choosing the problem statement and then selecting on which tech stacks and tools we will be taking into consideration for making the project so how to specifically choose a problem statement okay so i'll tell you what we approach to choose a problem statement so initially we formed a team of six people wherein two were our juniors and four we were from the final year and uh, what we did was we had an excel sheet with all our six names written and each one had to go through the sih website go through all the problem statements and pitch in three best problem statements which he or she might feel each member had to you know convince all other five members that why uh, we we should go with a certain problem statement so we had rounds of discussions wherein everybody brought up three three problem statements and we used to you know debate with that person ki how we won't choose that problem statement. He or she had to convince us ki why we would be. So we ended up choosing a problem statement. Post that problem statement uh, regarding the tech stack, what we thought was okay, to understand the problem statement thoroughly. So you need to read the problem statement like hundreds of times to you know understand what is their ask and what problem are you solving. Once you get the problem that you are solving, so you then can uh, focus more on building a small MVP with what we had our AIML based solution. So we focused on, you know, extraction. So extraction, ke liye kya lagega? So, uh, we focused on what is required most. So any LLM or AI model, because currently we are, you know, transitioning into AIML. So we thought of what AI text can be used in that. So yeah, that helped us to, you know, finalize the problem statement and also build a solution around it. But an MVP would, you know, help you cross your college level also and uh, internal hackathon. And also there also it will help you to you know, develop the solution. 
ओके सो नेक्स्ट मूविंग टू वट वॉज योर स्ट्रेटेजी वाइल डेवलपिंग द प्रोटोटाइप सो आफ्टर द सर्टेन राउंड वी आर रिक्वायर टू सबमिट द प्रोटोटाइप एंड द प्रेजेंटेशन सो स्पेसिफिकली फॉर द प्रोटोटाइप एंड देन फॉर द प्रोजेक्ट वट वॉज योर अप्रोच एंड वट वॉज योर टीम स्ट्रेटेजी टू लाइक हैव दिस नंबर ऑफ फीचर्स इन द प्रोजेक्ट सो दैट इट गेट सेलेक्टेड so uh, we didn't focus much on you know providing multiple features because that i feel don't uh, won't you know get you through the uh, last stage so what we focused was providing a complete end to end solution to that problem so uh, we understood the problem post that we created our own architecture diagram which had initially many open ended point but after round of discussion you know we tried to close every point so every uh, uh, loophole you know was tied to some or the other point which you know closes it so you uh, you think it from an end to end solution wherein if a user is onboarded on that platform how he will be uh, you know engaging with the platform for example we are we were focusing more on data extraction so data extraction kaise hoga like we thought of good excel good ppt good pdf good word documents but users might submit bad quality documents also currently we see we just click randomly click a aadhar card photo but that could be a good quality photo and many people can upload a bad quality so we focused on how bad a photo could be and then a good extraction could be possible on that wherein the weakest photo could also give you a good extraction so yeah these three uh, points we focused on you know develop while developing the prototype while choosing the tech stack we focused on what we have we have the current skill set and what could be learned so we didn't you know jump to uh, anything like big uh, tech word but we just went close to like if we have python skill so what we can learn we can learn ocr we can then learn django if we have uh, web development skills so what if currently our team was equipped with react js so we tried to learn next js to provide the uh, much better ui material ui to you know do the styling of the front end yeah we focused on these things okay praveen so next coming to the presentation round and how to make yeah. a ppt because this is the biggest doubt like how we should make our ppt and what all mm-hmm. points we need to put in the ppt so that it stands out from the crowd the same issue we also faced ki what to add in the ppt so that the uh, whoever is going to review these pptes can you know get engaged through our ppt and we also get you know somehow selected in the search so while uh, preparing the ppt i remember the first slide is about your proposed solution how are you going to pro- so use some you know i won't say buzzwords also but use some words which uh, uh, help you to frame your sentences right so don't add a lot of text you can use some images or you can use some architecture diagrams which you know explain the solution in very short and then in the second page wherein you have to define your text stack so define it very clear that what are you going to use on your front end what are you going to use on your back end what are you use going to use if you are focusing on ai ml solution what are you how are you going to scale it because that solution is not just going to be uh, you know unused it will be used it will be deployed into the ministry in some other other way so you have to think if many users come on to the platform how are they going to be you know accessed it? then focus on your architecture diagram so wherein you are when you are developing at the architecture diagram everything needs to have some sense because if anywhere you feel that ki you know what next once i go through your architecture diagram each point should have next journey uh, there should be nothing which is open ended then uh, how your solution is going to benefit the user it, so if you provide such solution for cost effectiveness how can you market it so basically sales point of view so how you are going to sell it then what are the costings that you might require to develop such a solution because there are two tracks software and hardware and uh, software also requires some of the costings such as uh, azure deployment azure aws deployment so these also cost could incur so you can you know think when you are developing it for a large scale organization what could uh, the monthly cost could be and then you can more fo- focus more on roi so if they are investing around certain amount so what is the return on investment uh through uh, this solution so focus more on that then you have uh, uh certain related to you know uh, what i mentioned as a buzzword because what happens is your uh, these uh, ppts might go through an ats checker wherein ats might you know pick some buzzwords and all so utilize those 
prepare your solution around those also words yeah okay so next coming to any error specifically during the grand finale you encountered and then which tested basically your presence of mind and how you deal with it okay also uh, beginning with the hackathon there the first round they asked ki what have you prepared till now what what's your mvp so we said that we have certain models ready just the integration part is remaining and uh, by the last round also we had the same statement going through all those rounds we, we have the models ready and the integration part is remaining and uh, when our final round came grand finale round so the judges came to our uh, seat and then uh, once we run the application it started throwing errors and previously it was working but when they came it started throwing errors because there was some slash issue which we you know uh, added it by mistakely so we had uh, it, we had a couple of minutes they gave us some couple of minutes to fix and then uh, they would again come to our seat so we somehow figured it out that there is a extra slash added because you are writing a sort of uh, so many lines of code and you need to you know uh, find out exactly where there is an error so we had to you know run through fast through the code and then we fix that error uh, and post that when we called him the solution was so good uh, probably that they liked it and uh, the judge also called another judge to look at our solution that how ex- exactly it's extracting so basically that was the key which you, uh, you know you helped us to go through this search menu hmm. okay praveen so how was your experience in the grand finale also uh, while the sh 2024 grand finale was around 11th and 12th of december we were, our location was delhi and we are currently based out of mumbai so our team went to delhi two three days back so we explored delhi and uh, when we went to the hackathon we had there are a lot of games and uh, you know events going through the hackathon so i would suggest you participate in all because uh, your goal is to you know enjoy that hackathon side by side you are developing also so primary goal is to get the solution develop it and win it but you should also enjoy because uh, you are getting a once in a lifetime chance uh, to you know go in such a hackathon which is an, uh, uh, organized by a ministry of education so i would suggest you go there enjoy connect with different different people there because uh, there uh, whoever is coming might be some from good colleges and all so you can you know interact with them and uh, you can look for solutions wherein you can uh, together you can make some solution also So yeah this was uh, my experience at hackathon okay praveen so these were the questions from my side but anything else you want to tell to the audience for the sih specifically because currently the deadlines are very near uh, deadlines usually get extended but uh, focus more on you know preparing the solution and uh, solving the problem statement So our first goal is to solve the problem statement. Regarding the problem statement, create a prototype, uh, or a uh, you should first focus on creating a MVP prototype solution. Post that you should also you know try and record a video around that. Ki how this solution is you are going to develop. Run through the, uh, your architecture diagram thoroughly because that is the thing which will will get you into the hackathon because nobody is going to you know sit and I feel that nobody will be you know reading all those six to seven pages of your PPT. rather if i would be a selector i would just look at your architecture diagram how good it explains me the solution that you are proposing to me so i have given you certain problem statement and you have uh, you know prepared an architecture diagram which tells me if user is getting on board it on that platform how is is he uh, interacting with the system and getting his solution as quick as possible so yeah so uh, you know have your architecture diagram very good okay praveen yeah. so this was from my side Thank you for coming and recording the video. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay.